Hello friends, once again welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. In the last 4 videos we covered modeling, unwrapping, baking and surface detailing on the kerosene can. I hope you enjoyed the previous videos. Now in this video we will learn how to do layer texturing in Substance Painter, how to use masking, paint layers, fill layers, grunge maps, anchor points and so on. Friends if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe it and turn on the bell notification so that whenever I upload the next series for you, you will get instant notification. So friends, let's complete this series today. So first we create a base rust material for the kerosene can. I will go to material shelf and scroll down the mouse wheel. There are two rust materials we can choose from, rust coarse and rust fine. I will go with rust coarse. Simply drag and drop onto the layer panel below the AO curvature folder. Settings are good for now. Let's add some more roughness to the base material. Create a new material from here. And in the fill layer properties, deactivate all channels except the roughness channel. And increase the roughness value to 1. Now we will create multiple paint layers one over the other. So let's create a fill layer. Activate only the base, roughness and metallic channel. Now add a black mask to the fill layer. In this black mask add a generator. Click on the generator and choose mask editor. In the mask editor properties, in the image input section, click on the texture slot and search for grunge map 14. In the next texture slot, search for cloud 3. Right now the texture is not showing on the model because the texture opacity is set to 0. Let's play with the settings that provided here. Let's change the base color. Now duplicate the layer. Change the base color to red. Increase the height value to 0.03. Now click on the black mask, go to add effects and choose filter. In the filter option select blur, keep the blur intensity to 0.2. Now go back to add effects and choose add level and manipulate these values
Now create another layer. Add a black mask. Go to add effects and select add fill. Click on gray scale and search for gun stain heavy. Set the projection to triplanar. Give it a name something like oil leaks marks. Now create another layer. Change the base color. Increase the roughness to 1, add a black mask, go to add effects and select add field. Click on gray scale and search for grunge dot thin. Set the position to triplanar. Give it a name. Now create another layer, increase the height to 0 0.03, add a black mask, go to add effects and select add field, click on grayscale and search for grunge dot splats. Add a paint layer, Rename the layer. Now create another layer. Increase the height to 0 0.03. Add a black mask. Go to add effects and select add field. Click on gray scale and search for grunge map 3. Go to add effect and select filter. In the filter option, select blur and keep the value to 0.5. Go back to add filter. Go back to add effects and select add paint. Now go to polygon field and deselect upper body. Rename the folder. Now select all the layers. Press Ctrl G to group the layers. Add a white mask to the folder. Go to Polygon Field and choose Mesh Field. Now click on the grip so it will no longer part of this group. Also rename the group. 
let's create oil leak effect so create another layer change the base color increase the metallic value and keep the roughness 2.2 now add a black mask to the layer go to add effect and choose add paint change the layer to pin light go to brush and search for oil leak brush keep the grayscale value to 1 Now search for watercolor and select a brush. Now paint it on this area. Let's work on the grip, create a new paint layer, now create a folder, drag this layer to the folder, add a black mask, now go to polygon fill and select mesh fill, now select the grip, now go to materials and search for wood rough material. Drag the material to the folder. Now create another layer for dirt. Change the base color. And increase the height value to 0.02. Add a black mask to the layer, go to add effects and choose add generator, in the generator select metal edge wheel. Now let's play with the properties. Let's add some blurriness to the layer, go to add effect and choose add filter click on filter and choose blur keep the blur value to something like 0 0.07 give the layer a name let's rename the folder now we add a label on the kerosene can change the view from perspective to orthographic I already created the label and alpha in photoshop, you can easily create in photoshop or similar kind of programs. So let's import it. Go to file, import resources, add resources, select the files and click on open. Label one is texture and other one is alpha. Import it. Now create a paint layer and enable position from here increase the height value to 0 0.02 
Now drag the texture to the base color. and paint it don't move the camera and add black mask to the layer click on projection again now drag the alpha to grayscale and paint it now go to add effect and add anchor point create a new folder drag this layer to the folder Add black mask to the folder. Right click on the black mask and choose add fill. Go to grayscale and select the anchor point. Now add another fill layer. Set it to multiply. Go to grayscale and search for grunge dirt splats. Set the position to triplanar. Now add a paint layer and drag it below the dirt layer. Move the grayscale value to 0 and erase some texture data. So finally we have completed the texturing process in Substance Painter. How is your feedback? Please share in the comment box. I hope you have liked this series and learning many things from it. I will be back with another game asset series very soon. So friends please like share and subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you will get instant notification whenever I start uploading next series for you. Till then thanks for watching friends see you in the next one.